everyone, I'm Juliana and I'm here today with Casper. How's it going guys? I'm ready to learn all about stuff. That's great. So we're going to be doing some maths problems together. Are you ready Casper? You know, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. And I think you're going to be a great help to this whole experience. <laughs> so, oh, the light just went, uh, but that's kind of better. Oh, yes. I think we look cooler. Okay, the light's going to come in and out, guys, by the way, because it's uh, cloudy today. Try solve that math problem. <laughs> Am I right? No, it's geography. Well, like physics. <laughs> physics. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> fine. Okay, cool. Should we start with question number one? Sure. So, the first question is, if Casper can fill a car with Maltesers in three hours, and Connor can fill it in five hours, how long does it take them to fill it together? The hint is, it's not four hours. That's what I was going to say. Okay. I'm going to use the smart... Casper equals CA, Connor equals CO. Three hours, because I'm faster than him. Five hours. Guys, remember there's 60 seconds in an hour. Or is that wrong? There's 60 minutes. Yeah. Yes. My and bad. how many seconds in a minute? <laughs> 60. <laughs> so here's the car. I'm going to make it more visual. So I can... There's a the car. It's nice <laughs> the front view or the It's the front view, view of the car. Oh, okay. So to fill it up with all these, I take three hours and Connor takes five hours. So let's just say for every... Oh, I don't know, I need help. How about, let's think of it this way. Yeah. If you can fill a car in three hours, what fraction of a car can you fill in one hour? Ooh, a third. A third, very good. So a third. And what about for Connor? You can fill a fifth. A fifth of a car. That's right. So in one hour, you can fill what fraction of a car? With, with together. Together. Uh, oh, I'm going to make out of 15. So three out of 15 is for Connor. And five out of 15 for Cass. Yes. So we can do good. eight out of 15. Thinking. What, what is this number? 8 out of 15? 8 out of 15 is a fraction. You can fill in... I can fill 8... I can fill that amount of the car in an hour with Connor. That's eight right. 15. Maybe we want to find um, how long does it take to fill up the whole car. The whole car I would need... Oh, okay. Uh, this is 7 close. out of 15 more. Yes, exactly. So we more, slightly more than an hour. The question oh. is... 8 times what would be 15? 8. Oh, eight times what would be 50? Can I use a calculator? Or you can just write it as a fraction. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> eight parts in one hour, but 15 parts. I don't understand. Does that make sense? Okay, um, if you can <laughs> fill up eight parts of a car in one hour, yeah. then you will need a bit more to fill up 15 parts of it, right? Yeah. So it's like eight times what gives you 15. And we want to find the what. Eight times... You can try oh, one point. Oh, algebra. I see. Like yeah, okay, I need to remind me how to do that without a calculator. Oh, you don't have to. So you can write 8 x x is like what we need to find equals. Oh, I see. Equals um, 15. 15, that's right. Okay, so. Okay, 8. Okay, so we need to figure. I see what you're saying. So 8x equals 15. What is x? Oh, okay, so you do x equals. 15 divided by 8, right? That's right, so I remember that will that. be slightly more than an hour, but less than two hours. Yeah. What's the answer to that, though? That's it. That'll be That's it. the answer. This much of an hour. You can oh, this much, it, oh, okay, cool. this much of an hour. Okay, cool. So, which is, uh, it's one hour and um, seven eighths? Yes. So, and seven eighths of an hour, an hour is well. what? It won't be a nice number. No. But that's okay. Okay. If you had a calculator, you'd be able to do it. And seven eighths of an hour. That's is that okay? Right. Are you just well, okay? Well, if yeah. we have a calculator, we can work that out. Yeah, or you okay. can just leave it as a fraction. Okay, cool. That's and do, do I have to have of an hour, or do I just say one hour, seven eighths? Oh, or you can just combine them like one and seven eighths of an hour. Yeah. Or How do I write that? How do I write just, that? Uh, one and then seven eighths. Hour. Yep, that's right. Okay. Or you can actually multiply seven eighths with sixty minutes to get the number of minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Sweet. Great job. So this one. That was harder than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> hope you enjoy the video, and we'll be doing more fun questions with Casper soon. Thanks, guys. Uh, hopefully, the next question I'll be able to do better. 
But I feel empowered because I had help. That's great. My pen's not working. My pen's not working. <laughs>